following identities are the exact same, so we'll use the two sine formulas up here. So it's going to be the sine of pi over 2, sine of x minus cosine pi over 2, cosine of x. And then for the right side, it's going to be sine of pi over 2, sine of x, plus cosine of pi over 2, cosine of x. So this is equal to 1 times sine of x minus... 0 cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times cosine of x equals 1 times sine of x plus cosine of pi over 2 is 0 times cosine of x. So this becomes sine of x oops, is equal to sine of x, which, because they're equal, that verifies that this is correct. Okay, I hope that helped you out. Appreciate you watching. Have a great day.